this lesson on dominant seventh inversions. You can hear several dominant seventh inversions in this opening theme from Beethoven's Sonata Opus 10, number seven, third movement manuet. Okay, let's get started. So we're going to invert the 5-7 chord. There's, of course, three possible inversions for 5-7. The 5-6-5 five, five would have the leading tone in the bass, which is the third of the chord. The 5-4-3 would have scale degree 2 in the bass, which is the fifth of the chord. And 5-4-2 would have scale degree 4 in the bass, which is the seventh of the chord. So let's listen to those. Here's the 5-7 in inverse position. Well, here's the key. There's a 5-7. There's a leading tone of the bass, the 5-6-5. Five, there's the, the scale degree 2 in the bass, the fifth. It's 5-4-2, or 5-4-3. And then the last one, the seventh in the bass. Right? So those are the possibilities. All of these inversions are weaker than the root position 5-7. So they're going to function as embellishing chords. Uh, if you want a strong 5-1 resolution, you'll use root position 5-7 chord. If you just want to embellish the one chord, you can use one of these uh, inverted versions of 5-7. So here are some of the uh, functions, typical functions of the inverted 5-7. Um, you can see in the first measure here, the 5-6-5 acting as a neighbor chord to the tonic, like this. And in the second measure, you can see uh, the 5-4-3 acting as a passing chord between 1 and 1-6. One um, then the final um, function is 5-4-2. Uh, this is often used as a, a passing chord that goes down from 5 to 1-6, so between 5 and 1-6. You can see that in the fourth measure have this. Right? That's typically how you'll see it. Um, in the bass, the seventh uh, comes down from the tonic. Do or sol, fa, mi, sorry about that. All right, so let's hear that whole progression, and you can hear how these are embellishing the one chord at first, like this. Okay, and then we have the five. again. Once again, it uh, creates variety in the bass line, um, embellishing it, um, those principal harmonies. Okay. The only other thing we need to talk about is how you would voice lead these inverted 5-7 chords. It's very smooth. Uh, the voices generally will all resolve by step or by common tone. And there's no need to omit any of the pitches, either in the 5, 7, or in the 1. Um, you can have full dominant 7s and full tri uh, tonic. Um, but there's a couple of things to keep in mind. If you have a 5, 6, 5 chord, the leading tone is in the bass. So that bass needs to resolve up. Okay, so if I have this is my 1... This. T that needs to come up to no. So five six five always resolves to one. Um, and the other one is a five four two. Now we have the seventh in the bass. So do it like this. So here's my five. Now I put the seventh in the bass. And that seventh needs to resolve down by step. So it's never going to go to a one chord. That, I'm oh, sorry, that fa needs to go to me. So it's always going to go to a one six. Never take your five four two to a one. All right, I think that takes care of it for this lesson. Go ahead and take the quiz.